Cisco InterSight Kubernetes Service, part of the Cisco InterSight Cloud Operations Platform, enables you to operationalize production-grade Kubernetes to meet the unique needs of both IT ops and DevOps. Let's take a look at how InterSight Kubernetes Service delivers role-based access for your users. Here you can see the main interface where IT ops can configure, analyze, and manage the entire infrastructure of your environment, including things like servers, fabric interconnects, and storage. But what about the unique needs of those with other roles, such as DevOps? They're less concerned with infrastructure and more concerned with managing Kubernetes deployments. Here's how IT ops can provide the right access to the DevOps team. First, we'll go to Settings. This brings up an area of the interface titled Access and Permissions. From here, we choose Roles. A variety of roles are available. Some are user-defined, while others are system-defined. To create a new role, all you need to do is select the Create Role button, which opens a wizard. First, we assign the role a name. Then we can assign specific privileges. There are many privileges that can be set, but we're going to look specifically at Kubernetes Operator and Kubernetes Administrator. When you give users the privileges of Kubernetes Operator, they have the ability to deploy workloads. However, they can't really control the Kubernetes cluster. If they also need the ability to deploy and control clusters, they can be set as a Kubernetes Administrator. You can also set privileges based on groups. When we create a new group and choose a desired role, all users within that group will have the associated privileges. In addition, assigning organizations makes it possible to provide the right people access to the right resources. Once DevOps are given Kubernetes Operator or Administrator privileges, they're able to use Terraform or an API, which they're already accustomed to for managing Kubernetes. Cisco InterSight Kubernetes Service delivers the right access for both IT ops and DevOps.